Yo, hello guys, welcome back to Investing Beginner. In today's video, I'm going to be going over the power of dividend growth investing and how it can help you on your way to financial freedom. So let's, before we get into the video, what actually is a dividend? Well, a dividend is a payout from a company, you, whether it be quarterly, monthly, or semi-annually, or even once a year. But it's basically um, a part of the profits of a, of a company you've made, and it's basically they think, what should we do with this money? Well, I know, let's pay out to our shareholders for investing. We like that, we do like that, that is really good. But what are the actual benefits of dividend investing? Well, so at the start, it's it's not too big when your portfolio is not a great size, but the key is with dividends, if you reinvest your dividends and also put monthly contributions in as well, you, re you can really start to see the snowball effect. So I think my portfolio now stands at £3,610, and I receive in dividends at the moment, probably between I don't know, 12 and 15 pounds a month at the minute, or maybe up to 20 if I get a good month. But that's just for investing 3,000 pounds. So imagine if I get to 10,000 pounds or 20 or 30. That's like, you can see where I'm going here, guys. The snowball effects, it really does take in, it can really like kick up your um, portfolio size. So I like to invest in good blue chip dividend companies who have been around for a long time and will continue to grow and pay out year by year. You got like the likes of Coca-Cola on there, Colgate, Microsoft, they've been around for a long time, guys, and they're increasing the dividends each year. I think Microsoft have increased their dividend, this, uh, Starbucks have increased their dividend also. It's just really good, does go to show the power that um, dividend, invest, dividend growth investing can do. Uh, me, myself, personally, I think you should be probably aiming between a yield of three and six percent that's my, that's my personal opinion guys it might be different for, some people might like higher higher yielding stocks but the problem with higher yielding stocks is they tend to be more more risky and um, probably will cut the dividend at some point in the future maybe not all of them but i reckon a good majority do but yeah if, if you are interested in dividend investing guys i would start out small try and uh, just get your feel for it but the, the, seriously guys, the power of it is absolutely incredible. As I've seen a lot of portfolios, and even when you get to 10,000 pounds, you can be receiving probably 60 pounds in dividends a month, or maybe more, just depending on what companies you own. And I find that really good guys. It's really motivating for me each month when I receive my paychecks to invest money in more dividend paying stocks and increase the amount of dividends I receive in a month. So I'm just gonna go into the Discover tab now guys and pick out three stocks on my watch list three dividend paying stocks. So the first is Kraft Heinz, who um, have had a bit of a rough year. And it's going to, they're down 38.9% in the year. They started around this time last year, they were $53. And now they stand at $32. Um, but the lowest they have been is around yep, $25, which is an absolute dramatic fall. But they do look like they are on the rise again. They, they're up 19.91% in this last month, which is up five, which is five pounds 54. Again, these have been around for a long time, guys. One of the largest food and beverage companies in the world. And then owned, obviously, Mr. Warren Buffett does own a lot of shares in Kraft Heinz. So I, these are on my watch list. I, do, I don't think they are going anywhere, as obviously people still obviously know about the products. Ketchup, everyone uses ketchup pretty much, and don't know many people who don't. So there, one I'm definitely looking at. The next one on my list is, let me try and find it, is Exxon Mobil oil and gas uh, again these pay a really good dividend i think it's i'm not sure on the actual yield but i think it's around 74 cents which is obviously american um, about around 60 pence it will be in english money so they're the world's large public oil and gas company their revenue eclipses the gdp of many countries they own brands such as mobile and esso i do like investing in energy stocks as i own road at shell and bp so i did i've obviously looked at exxon mobile and thought Let's have a look over the last year, they're down 11% and let's have a look at their overall growth, they're down overall, so I think it could be a really good time to buy guys if, because I think they've had a good earnings report as well, I'd have to check that but I do think that is the case, so that's yeah, another one I'm looking at. And the next one on my uh, watch list, if I can scroll across and find it, I'll have to, have to find, type it myself, is Apple and Listen, Apple don't need any introduction. Probably one of the biggest companies in the world. 
obviously everyone owns pretty much everyone owns an iphone or some sort of apple product in the household absolute massive company and increase and they're also increasing their dividends year by year up 35 percent this year which is absolutely massive uh, let's just go down to the creation of visual CEO Steve Jobs and ended engineer Steve Wozniak. This tech firm has rev revolutionized um, consumer technology with products like the iPhone, Mac and iPod. So that's the free stocks on my watch list guys and I hope you found this video informative about dividends and dividend growth investing and how it really can propel you to financial freedom. Also if you haven't yet, can you, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe, like this video, I appreciate it. And also get in the comments and let me know what you think about this video, what you think about dividend investing and what you um, think about the three stocks I picked on my watch list there. So subscribe guys, remember, subscribe, like the video, I'd really appreciate it. That's all for today guys, thank you, bye.